Welcome back. I'm going to attempt to do sort of a complex action. Um, I'm going to have a grid with a drop down, and that drop down is going to be bound to another store procedure. So there's a couple of things in play. First, let's set up the, the first store procedure. Let me close this out. Here we are. Um, I've got a new table under the vol schema called TBL state. All that does is have it has a, a list of the states. So if I look at it, I copied this from the internet, but pretty good. State, state abbreviation, all kinds of stuff you don't need, but nice to have. And I think even I even imported Canadian provinces. So that's the state list. I've got a new store procedure out there called uh, SP State Select. It doesn't take any inputs. It's just going to blindly display all the states. If I execute store procedure, I should see a list of states. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go over to the EDMX for vol. That's under the data access layer, EDMX. So that's a new store procedure, new uh, new table, a couple new tables, the event state and the uh, the event, uh, vol TBL state and that new store procedure. Let's update the model. Update model from database. Now this should automatically see the two new tables and the new store procedure. Cool. Let's import. So not only did it do did, did it do just an import? It also refreshed anything that was changed. I don't think anything was changed since the last time I touched this. Okay, let's see what happened. If I go to the store procedures and functions, this may take a second. I should see SP state, SP um, state select. Here's SP state select. Let's see if I have a complex type that was automatically created. SP states select result. That was automatically created by the import. Uh, the associations of function imports. SP state select on the function import. Very cool. So let's close this. Close the EDMX. Save it. Now the EDMX will automatically generate the context that we need. <coughs> Sorry it takes so long. Okay, we're going to open up the context CS. Somewhere in here is TBL states. I don't need that. I need the SP states. SP states here somewhere. I'm getting old. My eyes are not seeing it. There it is. Cool. This is the store procedure. Not much to it. I'm looking for the entity domain model. And I see two of them here. That's curious. Why would it do it twice? Oh, it did it twice because the two t the two tables. Terrific. Okay. So let's look at the context. Here's SP vol SP right there. Very cool. So that's here. Now remember I have to have my own domain model for this. So on the VT I'm going to do right click add class. I'm going to call this SP state select DM DM excuse me Okay, and again, just because I want to make sure I get the right um, namespaces, I, I just copy this guy in, and I'll paste it over the namespace. I know there was like a, you'll see. Okay, just force to have it. Once I get it done once, right? Why well, struggle? Okay, so now copy this over. It's a public class. The main model's done. All right. Now we've got to have a DAL layer for the state. Let's close this. 
data, data access layer, excuse me. Under VT, I'm going to have a new item. It's again a class. I want to call it SP State DAL. There's SP State DAL. And again, just for laziness sake, <laughs> I'm going to copy over the namespace and the uh, and the usings. Excellent. And again, for laziness sake, because I've done this before, I'm going to copy over the method for the DAL. It's a public class again. Now, instead of the group select DM, I want to actually use SP state select DM. Let's make my changes here, here, here. That doesn't change. Okay, the context instead of group select is going to be something different. Instead of list groups, I'm going to call it list states. And it's not going to actually use any inputs. Okay, from results and context and so forth. So the context is actually SP state select. Again, remember no inputs. Okay, group select, that has to change. I missed that one. Cool. Take away the columns. If you do spacebar, it'll bring up the. Okay, I'm not liking that. I should see state ID equals result dot Okay, it's not liking that. So SP state select state. Let's go and see why it's having a problem with this. Okay, this is a this is curious. So okay. Looks like when the when the um when it is imported. Okay, let's close this again. We're gonna go back to the DAL because we have to finish that. Let's go back to EDMX. I'm not sure if it put that import in the right place. Uh, let's go back to the model browser. Let's go to the comp. Let's go to. Let's go to the complex types. Go to the state select result. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to do it. Basically, this should have been done already, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get rid of the function import for state select, and then I'm going to import the function again manually. Going back to state select, and I'm going to say get column information. It should read the column information and pull those three columns through. I'm going to create a new complex type. Click OK, and that was the uh, that that was what should have happened when we did that. That should have been okay. So let's see why why else would I have a problem? I did notice something, um, and I'm working on a fix for it, so it, I'm sure it's a, a, a reference that I have. Under my at ASP.net, excuse me, uh, context, it's when I when I regenerate the EDMX, it creates a new set of usings. Let's take a look. See that data objects and that data objects data classes. Those don't exist anymore in the any domain six. They do exist in any domain five. Um, I've I've looked to get rid of system data objects, and I did out of the DAL. So we'll, we'll have to go back to that. All I know is every time I regenerate this, I have to copy it back over from ASP.NET. It's instead of system data objects, it's actually system data entity core objects. Go figure. Let's do this. Let's build the domain models. That should build correctly. That's just going to build the first project. Cool. Let's build the data access layer. Actually, this build won't work because I, I, I didn't finish uh, my class here. Let's finish that out. Uh, Vault here. There it is. State DAL. Let's go back to this. Now it works again. State, uh, state name, 
equals result dot state name. Notice that it's the IntelliSense is working again. It's because I, I was able to recompile that DAL. State abbreviation equals result dot state abbreviation. I do control KD. I've got my list. All right, let's close this guy out. Close all this stuff out. Now I'm going to create my business logic layer. Add class. And I'm going to call this SP state BLL. 